Hello YouTube, this is Win5387 here with a second part of my 2002 Apple eMac and while, or after I filmed my Power Mac G4 I was able to get a, an Airport Extreme base station and the Mac OS 10.3 install disk so since this only had 10.2 I decided uh, you could just install 10.3 on it so that's what I will update you guys on now for those of you who have seen my first video so I'm gonna go ahead and fire up the eMac there goes that startup chime and then soon we should get that 17 inch CRT This is really only the second time I uh, booted this computer up into 10.3 because I just installed it right after I woke up. And unlike before, this thing boots up a heck of a lot faster. Actually, when you're using it, it's much quicker than 10.2, and that's something I have to get used to. So, we don't have much on the dock since I didn't have the second. In, uh, install DVD which probably has some more applications to install so all I have is the finder, safari, mail, iChat, address book, quicktime player, system preferences and the shortcut to apple.com and the trash can so let's look at about this Mac for those of you who probably haven't seen my second video or my first video so as you can see we have a 700 megahertz power PC G4 and 384 megabytes of RAM and version 10.3 and also is new is a software update which well some things a lot of things are new for this computer compared to 10.2 oh and also while I was installing the 10.3 operating system I was able to split the hard drive into two partitions and on this Macintosh HD1 I installed Mac OS 9.2.2 again because uh, for some reason it sort of disappeared when I installed 10.3 so let's have a look at our applications folder so we have the address book, Apple script, calculator chess, DVD player, font book, iChat, image capture internet connect, mail, preview, quicktime player Safari, Sherlock, Stickies, System Preferences, Text Edit, and our utilities such as like the airport, utility, activity monitor, Bluetooth, installer, and many other utilities here. And I guess we could, uh, even though I don't have this connected to the internet, we can see what Safari looks like. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the websites I had before I upgraded it chain, uh, saved on here. And this is also another feature, Sherlock. Um, well, as you see, I haven't really done much in Sherlock either, so we can leave that alone as well. And text edit. There we go. And don't save. So, uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this quick update video of my Apple eMac running uh, 10.3 now, and also Mac OS 9. And that's also my first video, Mac OS 9. So, thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.